whatever was going to happen was going to happen regardless. But, like, I don't – me being shot changed my life. Like, it taught me a lot. It changed the way I love, the way, like, I think. Like, it changed a lot about me. So I'm grateful for that. Like, I don't just look at the bad in situations like, okay, I almost died or I'm f***ed up, my body f***ed up. Like, I don't try to look out at the bad and everything. I, like, try to see the good in something. Like, you feel me? It, it changed a lot about me, and I needed this type of growth, like, so mm. or, in order to become a woman. So I'm not mad. Like, you feel me? It is what it is. Like, they going to get their karma? Like, you feel me? I'm sure there's some... That's some karma to me from some shit I did because I ain't perfect. Like, you feel me? I I know how to respect karma and keep it moving. Like, that's some I ain't of the realest shit ever. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. You can press record, man. We, we ready. Oh, you already recorded? You started the uh, video? Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> all right, back. What's popping, y'all? Y'all know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast, special edition, man. Got me in the rain and shit. In between drop-offs and shit, you feel me? But you know we do special things for special people. Uh, Auntie Piggy in the big building. Miss Piggy, how, what 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 is it? Which which one is it? Auntie Piggy? Is yeah, it just Piggy? Yeah, don't put the Miss. Yeah, oh, right. Auntie, cool. Auntie, because I heard some yeah. people just say Piggy. Yeah, it's both. It's both, just yeah. Piggy, but not Miss. Mm -mm. Don't put the Miss on there. At what about all. Big? Not Big. <laughs> Stop playing <with> me. <laughs> I, I I thought Big was you call me Big J. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't, don't want to be called Big Piggy. Piggy you don't big enough. Big. Piggy is a big word, like, you feel me? No, nah, no cap. I ain't trying to do all that. Yeah, I mean, Piggy is a big word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Your family gave you that that, that, mm -hmm. that name, right? Yeah. Just to eat a lot or some shit like that? How you know? <laughs> I mean, it's Piggy, right? Right. Yo, what's good? How you feeling, man? I feel great. How you feel? I'm all right. I'm blessed. I can't complain. You um from Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it? St. What is it? St. Clair. St. Clair, Cleveland. Yeah, 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 yeah. How is it down there? How is it up there, I guess? Let's just say up. It's cool. To me, I love it. Mm. I mean, it ain't the best place in the world, but I love it. Okay. Well, um, you still down there? You still up there? No, I live in Miami right now. Oof. Why Miami? Uh, <laughs> it's a situation. What's that? You ain't, you ain't. Hold on. Let's set, let's set the record straight, man. Let's set the record <laughs> straight. Motherfuckers ain't about to come in here. Like, people come to interviews that don't want to talk when the interview is to talk. I'm just like, you it's like, don't. We ain't going to start off on that note, all right? I said it's a situation. What's the situation? Oh, you got a up there. Down I, there. yeah. Oh, shit. a lot done changed in what, like a year? A year ago, you were talking about you weren't doing no dates or nothing like that. <laughs> Damn. I'm what's weak. Go, what's going on? Talk to me. Yeah, a lot changed. She like, how the fuck you know that? Not for real. I mean, shit, I got to know a little something, no? Yeah, a lot changed. Oh, you got to, like, is it like public? Yeah. Oh, shit. okay. Is it like a rapper? Nah, it's a he he a ball sports. player. Yeah. <laughs> he got like one of them high high rise apartments and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> you silly. No, I'm, I'm just I'm curious. No, I can't know. Mm -hmm. I've been to Miami one time. I had to do an interview with a ball player, and he was on like the 52nd floor. It was crazy. I never seen no shit like that. So I'm just saying, you living that life. It's interesting. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. No cap. This is living special out here. I, you watch Power? Mm hmm Swear to God in my life, the first time I ever seen this. Like, you know how, like, power, like ghosts pull up to his crib, the apartment, the mm -hmm. uh, the penthouse? Mm -hmm. See, I'm from Baltimore, so I think we can relate a little bit, but you moved on up. I ain't get there yet. Did the interview, first time, coming all the way up to the, the penthouse, the elevator opened, and it's his fucking condo. Right. Like, what the f***? That's how you living? <laughs> That's how my dude living. <laughs> okay. I with that. I like that. Yeah. Sp speaking of that, um, it's been something viral going on. It's fifty fifty conversation. Uh, he don't believe in that shit, so I what don't do believe in it either. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I hold it down if it came down to it, but like, 
I ain't living with him and I got to split rent if he able to take care of everything. Let me ask you this then. Is it just the rent piece? Because every, every time I hear somebody talk about it, I always hear He don't want rent. me to do nothing. So mm. it's like, all he want me to do is focus on my music. That's hard. Not even cook and clean and shit? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what a woman's supposed to do. Like, that come natural. Nowadays, people act like, girls don't act like they don't even want to do that. It'd be weird. Nah, for real. Yeah, that's weird. No cap. You yeah. like, you can cook? You know how to cook? Mm-hmm. Man, how is this music going for you, man? Like, what's going on? It's interesting. What's interesting about it? Um, I've been doing it for a few years. Mm -hmm. Um, it's been some ups and downs, but like, you feel me? It's interesting. Like, what's the most interesting part? That I'm growing. Mm. As a as, which one though? As an artist or as a woman? Both. Mm. It's hard, ain't it? Yeah. Sheesh. It's hard because it's a bunch of stuff that like. <laughs> it's weird. No, it's a bunch of stuff that I usually would be just cool with doing, but I feel like now that I'm like growing as a woman, I don't want to do certain stuff and I don't want to be looked upon like in that perspective. Mm. I think um, also I said it's weird because like coming from where we, I feel like just doing a little bit of research, uh, St. Clair's, it sounds similar to Baltimore. Yeah, it's a lot. It's the yeah, trenches. Our, our crime rate high as hell. Yeah, the trenches. I feel like being in the industry, especially the industry that you and we in, like a lot of people be on some weirdo shit and they act like when they see real, they act like it's a like it's foreign or something. A lot of people just ain't got certain shit installed in them. Like mm. you feel me? I'm solid. My mama's solid, my dad's solid, like that's how I was raised, that's how I was brought up. Like, you feel me? That's all I know. Like, it's just in me. But certain people just wasn't brought up a certain way or they just don't live by certain rules and mm. just ain't in them like tell me what some i think as you as we get older and we uh become grown and shit like that i feel like a lot of times life changed through our eyes like when we was in the streets or when we was in the hood or whatever like that you know what i'm saying i feel like being solid looked a little different than how it how it looked when we grown what about you i just feel like solid is a bunch of different things it don't necessarily mean like hood shit, like street shit. like mm. just being a solid individual like you feel me? Like, it don't got to always go back to the streets. Mm. What would you say if you had to give me two characteristic traits or, like, two big deals of being solid, what would it be? As far as me? In general. I feel like you got to be loyal. Like, mm. loyalty is, like, everything. Mm. And I just feel like you got to keep it real. Like, you got to know how to keep it real. Like, you got to be the same person all the time. Like... I feel like people change when they get around certain people or be like, I don't know, like different people bring out different, the different Traits characteristics in, people, yeah. in you. Yeah, like, but with me, like, I'm the same person. I don't give a f who I'm around, like, you feel me? So I feel like a lot of people just not like that. Like, they change when they get around rich people or if they get around, like, different people. Like, I ain't like that. Do you ever catch yourself being too real for, for the industry or too yeah, real I'll for what you Yeah, I be too real for a lot of sh but then I just separate myself from that because I ain't gonna change who I am because of some like. So, what is? How do we measure growth then? What is? What's? What's changed compared to growth? Right? Like, cause we always say I'm the same person, but is that a good thing? But like, so asking you, which? How do I we feel like growth? you can grow. I feel like. <laughs> talk to me. I feel like change. Okay, change and growth. Like, we thought we were gonna talk about talk about some bullshit. Mm -mm, I watched your interviews. Oh, thank you. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. My I like them. I appreciate that. Yeah. I, um, I feel like in order to grow, you do have to change a little bit. You feel me? But you still can be true to who you are. Like, you feel me? You ain't got to let go of, like, what you believe in, what you stand for, your morals. Your, you don't got to let go of that. You can just, like, you know, adjust to certain situations and, like, change yo who you around and stuff like that like i don't feel like you just got to change everything about yourself like you feel me i feel like okay jay-z he in a position where you know he in a way different position than he ever been in his life but he ain't he's still the same person for real like he ain't the same person like selling dope and shit, but he still got the same characteristics and he still probably live by the same More principles and shit. yeah like so how do we for a young lady that just got in the game right Mm -hmm. She don't know nothing. She comes straight from, let's say, she comes straight from St. Clair. 
straight out of Cleveland. You get what I'm saying? And like, she from the trenches. And she like, man, these is fake. And I'm the same me. How do, how was you able to learn how to change in a positive way, but still keep your moral standard? I just feel like, I feel like that, like about myself, like be weird as but I just feel like you just got to know how to deal with people. Mm. Like you live in a world now where you got to deal with people that you don't want to deal with. Like when you grow and when you reach a new levels, you got to like adjust to certain sh and deal with what you don't want to deal with. But like you just got to know how to deal with people. Like you ain't got to deal with them on that type of level. It can just be strictly business. Like you ain't got to let them into your world for real. Like it just can be what it is, like mm. whatever the situation is. But how was you able to grow into that? Or, you, or, or is that something that you're still growing into to this day? I feel like I'm still growing. I feel like I'm not, like I haven't reached my potential. I feel like I'm learning new things every day, like as far as me being a relationship, as far as me being an artist, as far as me being a woman, like I'm learning every day. Like, you know, I just got to the point where I'm like, all right, I ain't about to fight nobody. Like, cause mm. you know, I usually fight somebody with make me mad. Like I just got to the point where I'm like, that, whatever, like, you feel me? So I just feel like I'm growing and changing every day, but I still feel the same way I be feeling. Like I still be, I still like don't fuck with weird hoes or like, but that don't mean I gotta beat their ass if that if that makes sense. Mm mm mm. And it's, it's not hard though. You said it's not hard. What you mean? Like just being in this space and just growth. Period. Right? Like growth you coming is from hard. That, it's uncomfortable. Like it's hard. Is but it's a good thing. It is. But I would be lying if. I used to fight a lot too, so I get it. Like when I say I get it, I heard your story. I'm like, your first single was like, like off some fight. Yeah, I beat up, you like bet you getting beat up. <laughs> like, yeah, so I get it. <laughs> Isn't it times where like, when the last time you cried because of, out of frustration because you wanted to beat somebody up? Today. For real? No, I didn't cry. I cried today, but I didn't cry because I wanted to beat somebody up. All right, so let's get into that for a second. Hold up, pause on that. When the last time you cried because you wanted to beat somebody up and you just know it wasn't the right thing? <laughs> It had to be. I be wanting to beat my boyfriend up all the time, but like, um, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you ain't grow that part yet. Yeah, I don't. I don't fight him though. Like, I don't put my hands on him. I don't disrespect him. Like, I, I don't. I just cry now. Mm. <laughs> Is that because he pay all the bills? No, nah, I make money too. But he do that because that's what he want to do. Mm. And I always wonder, like, if. Cause girls sometimes girls can be disrespectful. Guys can be disrespectful too for for the girls. It's like N -n 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 too, but I just feel like some. I be wondering like, all right, if I just do everything, will I get? Will, will, will guys? If a guy do everything, will they get a little bit more? I don't know lenient, leniency from women. No, like I ain't about to be okay with you cheating just because you pay the bills. Like no. Yeah, I wasn't here going there, but yeah, ooh, but hell no. <laughs> but like I feel like I like how you said like women be disrespecting men. I feel like I was a very disrespectful person to men because I had a bunch of bad experiences with men. Mm. But, like, this guy kind of, like, made me get out of that. Like, yeah, what is he it like, him? He, he just, I love you different. Yeah, he do. He, what did he be telling you in your ear? <laughs> no, he just introduced me to a new feeling. Like, I grew up on, me and him is, like, so opposite. Like, we're two completely different people. We live in two completely different worlds. We don't have the same views on nothing. But, mm. like, we, like, learning each other and we growing with one another. Like, but, like, I had to teach him a lot about me, and he taught me a lot, too. Like, I grew up on tough love. Like, if I fell, I couldn't cry. My mama would be like, get the f*** up. Like, mm. what are you crying for? Like, I couldn't cry. I couldn't complain. I couldn't do nothing. So, like... I can't be that way with him, like, and I was that way, but he don't like that shit. Like, I can't, like, and then I had a bunch of bad experience with men where I talked to them crazy because they, like, treated me bad. Like, mm. so I be thinking I can get away with that with everybody, but I, I can't treat a person like him like that because, you know, he don't treat me like that. Damn, that's fire. I love that. Mm -hmm. You cried today. What you cry about? I just, I be emotional. What's your song? Are you a cancer? I'm a Leo. Are you a Leo? My daughter's a Leo. Yeah, July 24th. I love Leo, though. Yeah, I cried today. I cry a lot. I've been crying a lot lately. What was you cry about? I just be emotional. Like, I don't know. I cry right now, so don't ask me. <laughs> I'm asking you. I, didn't, I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm like I three for cry. three on him. I made, I made some guys cry. I made some, some no, women I cry. I cry Ooh. for real. I just be emotional. What, what did you cry for today, though? <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't know. Let's get the snaps ready. Let's get the snaps no, ready. The f came to do the interview. You I said you watched. So. 
Why you, you crying in the car? You ain't watch. No. You said you watched. You probably watched some clips. Yeah, I did watch. I watched Chinos. I watched right. B. Simone's. I cry in the car, though. I ain't want to cry. All right, so you don't have to cry. But what you cry about, though? For real. I'm curious. I'm going to cry if I talk about it. For no, real? I just I just be crying because I be emotional. Like, I'm emotional with what's going on in my relationship right now. Mm. I'm emotional, like, just with my life right now, my body. Like, I'm just emotional. Like, Your body? Yeah. What about it? I got shot six times. So, like, my body don't feel the same. It don't look the same. Like, I'm in constant pain. Like, it's just a lot. Mm. I mean, I feel like you you do well. You wear it well. If they ever, you I know, the saying you don't look like what you've been through. Girl, that's not you. I got a girl too, so just like you know, I ain't flirting with you. No, nah, I feel my respect. you. Just like you know, just, no, nah, it's all that, good. Just put that on the table sooner. <laughs> but um, nah, like you look good though. Like so, it's like that saying that you don't look like what you've been through. Um, you ever you ever cried about that though? I be ha I I be grateful. Like I'm not just. I just don't look at the worst in things and be like. Oh my God, it's all bad. Like, of course, excuse me. Of course, I'm grateful. Like, that I'm here. That I'm like, I'm blessed for sure. Like, mm. past blessed. Like, God love the f out of me. But like, I just feel like, I just be frustrated. Like, life, boy, it be life. -ing. Crazy, life Yo. is crazy as f like. I ain't nobody asked for this. Sh they just put us here and we gotta go through all this. Sh no. Going back to the hood, right? The trenches and shit. you're the queen of the trenches, right? Mm -hmm. Going back to the trenches and shit. isn't it crazy that like you know you had this little background of fighting, right? Mm -hmm. But like you said, like bro, this ain't asked for that. You know what I'm saying? And then granted, it's easy. It's easy for people for people to judge you because they probably see you like as the hot head girl that was always fighting people. But it's like people don't have no idea that shit that was going through to feel like they had to protect themselves. Right, mm -hmm. like from people, from crazy things that go on. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you ever think about revisit those ideas in your mind? Yeah, and I feel like a lot of times people judge me based off of those things, but it's like everybody is so different. You can't. Okay, for instance, like everybody don't go for the same. Shit. Like you can't. I'm not a. I'm not the person you can talk to crazy or you can be on Instagram doing whatever to like you i'm just i just don't take no sh like i don't never start sh i'm not a sh starter i don't end i don't like to fight like i just can't take disrespect like if somebody disrespect me like in any type of way i stand on it like if a bitch was talking crazy to me on the internet and i saw her like this the old me probably before i got shot and i saw her i'd be like what's up like mm -hmm. you feel me like i'm well like i ain't mm -mm. Like, I just can't go for no disrespect in no way, shape, or form. Like, it's some people that think, like, oh, we can talk shit on the internet, and that's just going to be the internet. No, you can't do that with everybody. Like, How much of that was your pride? I got a lot of pride. Like, my pride is a muff. Like, my pride is the reason I got shot. Like, you feel me? Like, I got too much pride. But, like, right now, I still got a lot of pride. And I'm still, like, <laughs> mm. It was times where like, man, the hood is fucked up. I ain't, it was times where like I felt like, like you said, if somebody says something or if I said something, and I saw him, I had to back it up or I had to stand on that because that's just where we from, right? It's like where we grew, where we grew up and the people we grew up around. That was the standard back then. Like now, it's changed, but like the standard was to to stand on that, right? And I think I, we had it misconstrued. You know what I'm saying? Because honestly, if you think about it, like. Standing on that is standing on your manhood, standing on your womanhood, right? Making sure your kids good, making sure your family is right. Straight. Yeah, you're right. A lot of times coming up, we ain't really understand what that looked like. So if I said some some weird, shit, oh no, nah, when I see you, it's popping, and I gotta stand on that because I said it, right? But I feel like nowadays, the biggest, the hardest thing to do is walk away, though. The hardest thing to do is to walk away, but you're right. I can't even argue with that. You're right. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Do you, I mean, it might be a stupid question, but you never know. Do you wish you would have walked away that night when you got shot? No, the night wasn't the problem. Mm. What was yeah. the problem? Um. So, basically, I, don't, I ain't going to get too much into detail. Well, I'll tell you a little bit, but, like, um, it was a situation I felt like I couldn't walk away from. Mm. So, like, you know how people be, like, when they've been doing something longer than you, but you start doing it and you become better than them. So it's like 
a pride issue. Like they feeling some type of way, whatever, some weird ass. Shit. I got into it with this girl, right? It, I wasn't really, I didn't even really want to be for her because it just wasn't, I didn't care like enough to do this with you. But she, she, um, she just wanted, no matter what, she wanted to start something with me because we was both doing music, whatever. Like she just wanted to start something with me and I wasn't really on it. One day I was arguing with this nigga I fucked with on the internet. Um, he ended up like burning my sister house down, like doing all type of weird shit. Like he, um, the girl like included herself in the beef because she felt like, okay, this is my time to be a part of this, some shit because everybody like on her ass. Like, so she started talking a little shit. So me and her going at it. She sent my my nephew. My nephew was 11 years old. She sent him some porn of his mom. Mm. Bitch, I'm beating your ass. It ain't don't he ain't got shit. He a kid. He ain't got nothing to do with that. Like, not with how you feel towards me. So when I saw this bitch, I beat her ass. You feel me? I beat her ass and somebody told me she was somewhere. I pulled up by myself and I beat her ass and probably some bystanders or somebody recorded it. You feel me? So it got all over the internet and she had a pride issue. She couldn't let it go. Like she couldn't pull up and be like, shit, Piggy, let's fight again. Like, you feel me? Like she couldn't do that. Instead, we got booked for a show together. Um, We got booked for a show together. I, I got booked for an after party afterwards. So I went to the after party. I was in the car. Mind you, we fought in November. This happened at the end of March, March 26th. I got booked for an after party at the... um later that night. So I'm in my car waiting on my manager to get everything, whatever, situated. I'm with my little cousins. They all probably like 18. I'm in the car. I'm looking at my phone. Somebody called me and said, they outside your car. So I was like, who? So I look out the window. It's like 40 people. It's like 10 niggas and it's like 30 bitches. But the 10 niggas got guns out. Like it's like four of them with guns out. Four or six. Well, no, it's some, they had guns out. So I'm like, they like, um, my friend like fighter. I'm like, bitch, they got guns. I ain't fight nobody. Like I rolled down the window because I'm thinking in my brain, like, shit, if I pull off, they gonna shoot this bitch up. I ain't about to pull off. So I rolled down the window and um I rolled down the window and they was like, get out the car. And I was like, hell no, I ain't getting out no car. <sighs> whatever happened, they in they ambushed us. I don't know what the fuck. They put my friends out the car, whatever happened. I ended up getting shot six times. My friend got shot fourteen times. Like, but these niggas, y'all had nothing to do with it. Like, you feel me? Like, not not about no girl fight. Like, yeah, like, mm -hmm. But I just feel like that day it wasn't, like, really no bullshit. It was just, like, her pride in a way. Mm. You feel me? But you can't, I'm saying I beat her ass, so you can't, like, you don't know how people going to react to certain things, so. And that's what the part I wanted to talk to you about. Do you, mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's definitely a touchy subject for real. Mm -hmm. Um, But, like, do you even look back and, like, man, I should have just let her be on some whatever she was on and just nah. took the high road. Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. Yeah, no, I don't think that. I mean, I feel like whatever was going to happen, I feel like everything written already. So whatever was going to happen was going to happen regardless. I just feel like my nephew, like, that's my heart. Like, you, I, mm -mm. he crying, his friends calling him. She posting it on her live, tagging him. Like, mm -mm. I don't regret that. Mm. Yeah, man, that's some crazy shit to be in. Like, I uh, I, I look at it crazy because, like, my mom's older, mm -hmm. right? So, like, we, I used to hate that shit. Like, all my peers would get in fights, their parents would fight with them and shit like that. My mom would be like, don't worry about it. God got us. I used to hate that shit. <laughs> so, I, just, I was curious. Like, I wonder yeah. if, like, you thought about it differently, but damn. No, I don't regret it. I mean, like, I felt like whatever was going to happen was going to happen regardless. But, like, I don't. Me being shot changed my life. Like, it taught me a lot. It changed the way I love, the way, like, I think. Like, it changed a lot about me. So I'm grateful for that. Like, I don't just look at the bad in situations like, okay, I almost died or I'm fucked up, my body fucked up. Like, I don't try to look out at the bad and everything. I, like, try to see the good in something. Like, you feel me? It, it changed a lot about me, and I needed this type of growth, like, mm. so or, in order to become a woman. So I'm not mad. Like, you feel me? It is what it is. Like, they gonna get their karma like you feel me i'm sure there's some that's some karma to me from some shit i did because i ain't perfect like you feel me i i know how to respect karma and keep it moving like that's some of the realest shit ever a lot of people can't a lot of people don't think that shit exists 
Nah, so they that, think they exempt from shit. Real. Yeah, niggas be like, they think they could do all this crap ball shit and think that shit ain't gonna creep up on them. Like, nah, niggas crazy. she come back. She don't play. No, nah, facts. Yeah. Do you um? Do you did it did it make you like appreciate life more? Like you. Um. Yeah. Like it just make you appreciate the small things. Like it just made me appreciate. Like I'm really just like a person that's like laid back and like that i don't go outside much i don't do much like i just be like whatever like my family will be over like i'll be in my room i just lead them I, I don't be around my family like i'm just like very anti-social but like it changed me like i love to be around the people i love now i love spending time with the people i love now like it taught me like it it taught me a lot like it taught me who was in my corner like it made me identify the people that i shouldn't have in my life like Mm. going back to like the relationship stuff like that's why I respect the guy you know so much that I was telling you about because like when I got shot um you know we were just talking at the time like he was probably dealing with bitches I was dealing with niggas like you feel me but like the he was the last person I expected to be there for mm. me like when I woke up I was in a coma like when I woke up he was there, like, I'm ugly as fuck. He was there the whole way, like, till I got better. Up until now, like, I was literally ugly as fuck. I went through a stage where I was fat as fuck, big as fuck. I got skinny as fuck, like a crackhead. Like, he was just there the whole way, like, telling me I was beautiful. He got me, don't worry about nothing, like. And I didn't expect this out of him. So, like, yeah, it just, like, it just made me identify the people in my life, like, who I shouldn't have around, like, who matter, like, what to put my energy into. And then, like, this person taught me, like, how to love and how to be, like, you know, like, he just opened up a different side of me. So I definitely appreciate, like, this experience. I'm not really mad at it. No, it's special when somebody, um, like, show you that love when they don't have to. Yeah. Right? Like, that shit is special. Yeah, like, like that's... my mom, I was, I woke up and I, uh... My mom was like, I was in a coma. So, you know, like everybody trying to like see if I'm alert. Like if like they trying to talk to me to see if I like know what's going on. And my mama just keeps saying like, Jerome is coming, Jerome is coming. But I'm like, what the fuck, Jerome? Like I'm thinking that in my brain. Like I ain't expect him to be coming. Like you feel me? But That's a disgusting name, by the way. But <laughs> Watch out. That's my name. That's <laughs> <laughs> really? I fucking hate that name. You're lying. That's an old ass name. That's but the fucking terrible name. I so. love my nigga, so it's cool. Yeah, yeah. Love him for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Your name shit. Jerome for real? Yeah, all right. That's enough. <laughs> like, stop. I you a junior? That. I am. That is dumb as fuck. Shit like, is disgusting. Get your kid their own identity. First of all, I'm named after a nigga that's not even my biological father, and that nigga wasn't even there. So, like, that's just a whole Why other you don't story. talk like you from Baltimore like that? How they talk like that? Like, two and do and shit like yeah. that? Yeah. I, I feel like I do. Like, I feel like, depending on who I'm talking to, they they said not, like, I don't know. Maybe because I try to articulate my words. Like, I, I do that intentionally. But um, going back to... The beef initially, right? Mm -hmm. Did it start on some artist shit? Some like just woman. To be artist? honest, I'm not. I don't got a hating bone in my body. Like literally, I'm not jealous of nobody. I'm. I, I'm very like comfortable with myself. You know, like I respect people. Like so, Cleveland is like not the smallest city, but it's a small city. Like we all know each other. There ain't too many rappers. There ain't too many people doing nothing. So like when this girl was rapping, I I applauded her. Like I liked her music. Like I would. Like you feel me? It was no beef. But as soon as I started rapping, it became a problem. She felt like she could be the only rapper. So it did start from her perspective that way, but it was never, that was, I used to be like, man, you're a kid. I'm not about to beef with you. Like, that's dumb. Like, but anything I did, this girl had a problem with it. If I dropped a song, she had comment about the song, like, but subtweet, do shit like that. She got her body done. She a DM, I, I post a picture like organic. She'd be like, are you talking about me? I'm like, bitch, I don't, like, I don't want no smoke. Like, chill. Like, let me ask you this then. How much of that, because I'm curious about this because I'm going to go and transition to another conversation about just woman, female rap. How much of that do you think came from the fans, though, and not even y'all two None. individually? 
Man. I think everything just came from. I really just think this girl is crazy. Damn. Like I, it really, and I'm not the only person who like saw it. Like everybody saw it. Like and I, like I literally used to DM her like and be like, hey, I don't want no problems, cause I just feel like rap beef is corny. I be beefing with real niggas and got real shit going on. Like I'm not about to be beefing with you about no fucking lyrics. Like mm. I'm not about to be doing that. So I'm like, look, I don't got no problem with you. I used to tell her that. Like she, I'm sure she got receipts of me telling her like, look, bitch, I don't want no smoke. Like mm. you feel me? I'm just, I'm, I felt like I was too. It would have been me bullying her, like really trying to argue with her about some music. Like, so I'm like, girl, go ahead on. But so, all right, that that could be one of. I'm, or I'm curious to know what you think about. Do you think a lot of the fans got to do with female rap beef now today in the industry? Yeah, of course. I feel like, like not even female rap beef. Like the impact ATL, for instance. Mm. So like Jada and Ari situation. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like. Um, I feel like they fans be putting two and two together so bad coming up with a big ass number and got them thinking otherwise. Well, not really Ari. I don't think she like really care, but I think Jada just looking to like what the fans say so much that she be thinking like, like just creating beef and anima. I don't think, I don't really think they like really got beef, but like with that situation, they fans like do put them against each other. And I feel like that's a always a bad thing. Have you got caught up in the um, comments yet? Mm-mm. No, oh shit! Yeah. So it's 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 hard. Like that shit get hard. Even on this YouTube shit, sometimes I be trying not to read these motherfucking comments, but it could get easy to get trapped. Well, in yeah, comments. like people be commenting under my post. Like, like I told you, I'm very comfortable with myself. So like, I got shot all in my stomach and shit. My stomach sewed up. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm still gonna wear a belly shirt. I don't care. Like, people be commenting under my YouTube. Like. C-section or her stomach ugly as hell or comment like under my page or leaving. I don't care. Like, mm. I'm comfortable as fuck with myself. Like, y'all can't do shit to make me feel like no way. That's a good place you to be in because like, shit, I'm comfortable with myself. I think I'm all right, but shit, I can still use some of that because sometimes person, you see that shit too much, that shit gets you, get, get you thinking. That shit goes to A person can't over. tell me shit about myself. Like, I'm very comfortable with myself. Like, I can take some constructive criticism but like when a person trying to like down me or like make me feel bad or like y'all can't do that like no, facts. That's you know cool. i know who i am facts. how do you how, how do you think the people are adjusting to your music right now you think people fucking with it yeah of course like as far as cleveland i got a lot of people that don't like me mm. but it's it, it's usually about a nigga or probably like if they on that girl side but other than that, like, everybody love me. Like, mm. I'm not, like, the person everybody is going to beef with or, like, like they all love my music. The kids love me. The adults love me. The niggas love me. So it's like, you know, they fuck with me. Like, and now I'm reaching a point where my my music is, like, gravitating, like, growing. And it's in other cities. It's in other places. So, like, they fuck with me, too. Like, one of my songs went viral, Pressure. And ever since then, like, people been gravitating towards my other music. Like, I just be... They, I be reading like Twitter and I just see people talking about me and it just make me smile. But how pressure come on? Pressure be like, who she thinks she is? Yeah, pressure, yeah, yeah. you yeah, know yeah, it. Yeah. Tell your girl to make a real. I heard that shit. Tell my girl to make a real. Mhm. I tell her she don't be doing that shit. Oh, she ain't really into Instagram. Nah, not really. Man. That's good. If I ain't rap, I probably won't be into it either. Nah, I tell my daughter do. Okay. She be all into all that TikTok how old is your shit. Daughter? Thirteen. Swear. Yeah, she be on all that shit. Yeah, the kids been going crazy with my song. Yeah, I can't. You got kids? No. Yeah, I can't. I, bro, I, honestly, I can't even look at uh, girls that be on TikTok and shit like that. Like, I don't even look at them the same now. Why? I see my daughter. It's fucking weird. Like, I I can't even, like, I don't even like them, kind of. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing. I don't know. Just be like, I see my daughter do all that, doing the same thing. I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah. 13. But <laughs> whatever. People but, be weird. No, nah, um, you said the niggas fucking with you. You think the niggas fucking with you? Do you think they fucking with your music too? Hell yeah! Like they make they they fucking make videos. They tag me. They like I don't rap just like a bitch. Like I don't just rap about pussy and getting fucked. Like I talk about shit they can relate to. So like what? What song? Tell me a song. <laughs> I got a song. I got a lot of songs. Na- name three of them. What that I don't just talk about pussy. Mm-hmm. Okay, Miss Hardbody one. Okay. Um, not the mini, not not the mini men joint. Okay, I named that. Uh, oh, that's Miss Hardbody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So me and Icewear got a song. That shit was hard. That was yeah. hard. I fuck with that. I fuck with um, that. Um, 
I got a song called You Hear Me, the niggas like that. Okay. Um, I got a song called Clarify. I'm going to name Clarify because my niggas right there fuck with that. And my boyfriend, that's his favorite song. So, okay. like, you feel me? Like, I got songs niggas fuck with. I don't feel like I just rap like the city average bitch. Shit. Yeah, I fuck with the city girls, though, but I don't feel like I give those vibes. Man. I don't feel like I give nobody vibes. I feel like I'm bringing new vibes. So I feel like that's what's so special about me. Yo, question. Ice Wear is from... Um, Detroit. Detroit, right? I might be ignorant because I'm not from there, and I know it's not like Cleveland and Detroit is like what eight? How far is that? Two hours. Okay, makes sense. Because I was about to say it got to be some type of connection because it sounds similar a little, a little bit. No, no, not at all. Not really. I mean, I feel like Cleveland doesn't have their own identity. So like the men and shit, they they like try to steal like Detroit rap. You feel me? So like, you will see where I'm coming from. Yeah, a little bit. so okay. I understand okay. where you're coming from. Okay. Yeah, but we. Like, our, like, original rappers and shit, like, the new, like, we don't got they sound, but people do who can't identify themselves as a rapper or who've been trying so long do be trying to, like, switch and rap like Detroit niggas so they can, okay. you feel me? But, nah. Okay. Is it a connection at, at all, though? I mean, uh, Like, what you mean? Cleveland, Detroit, like, is it any type of, like... Oh, uh, we niggas. Like, we tight. Okay. Now, I, I feel, because I feel like I, um, I heard somebody else and I was thinking the same thing. Like, it sounds like, like, not too far off yeah. from Detroit. Yeah, we like two hours away. Nah, I fuck with yeah, that. I, I didn't know it was that close. That's yeah, I fuck with Ice Wear. Damn, man. So, niggas fucking with the music. The hoes fucking with the music. Do you ever see yourself getting caught up in a box that you're trying to, like, you, you, you're trying to do something to sell records, I guess? Because, you know, in the industry, sometimes if you if you sign, they'll say, make this type of record so people can fuck with it. It could be on the radio or something like that. So, I think, what you mean, like, caught up in a box? Like, Trying to make a radio hit or trying to make oh, a hit. Oh, no, so ever... I think that, I think my music, like, I got a bunch of songs that that are different. I feel like none of my songs really sound alike. Mm. Like, but I feel like I don't, I feel like the best part about me is being independent. You feel me? Like, I can do what I want. I Like, you feel me? All I got to call is my people that I fuck with to be, to ask them what they think. Like, mm. you feel me? But I just feel like, I really don't make music based off like what do I think people would like. I just base music or make music based off like how I'ma feel, like how does it make me feel, like you feel me, and just hopefully hoping that they will fuck with it. Like, That's a good space to be in though. A lot of people not like, not a lot of people not there making music. A lot yeah, of people are trying to problem. force it. That might be the problem. So I just do what feel it. good. Mm-hmm. That's fire. Who you fucking with now, like far as artists? You got any favorite female rappers or not? Favorite female rappers? Not really. Wasn't you fucking with Nicki at, at one point? I think Nicki is dope as fuck. Yeah, she like the best rapper ever. Like, I mm. never take that away from her. This might be corny. Don't judge me. I see he recording fucking he behind the scenes. So I might not want to see it. When I first heard your name, you know the first song I thought, I Itty thought about? Itty Bitty Piggy. <laughs> I think song. Nicki is dope as fuck. Like, it's a bunch of stuff that I disagree with, like, that been going on, like, in the blogs and, like, the media, but... Overall, like, she definitely the best rapper. Like, mm. as far as the female, like, ain't nobody fucking with Nicki. She know that. Like, yeah. everybody know that. But, like, I feel like I fuck with Nicki. I like a lot of rappers right now. I love the girl Ken the Man right now. She is. Ken the Man go crazy. Ken the Man is hard she as hard, fuck. She hard, for sure. She hard as fuck. Yo, how do you feel about, like, um the whole um Sweetie shit? Like, the 2000 2000- records in the first what is it first week what is it how you feel about that shit i don't know i just be feeling like everything be just like i don't know for real shit you think she jumped out there too fast or like i don't know no i just think mm, no. i don't know no comment <laughs> no <laughs> no <laughs> comment okay no, we got security in the back he said don't say it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no man I, yeah I, but um, i actually like sweetie i like her i like her style i like her personality i like i like her look i like everything like you feel me i don't feel like she i don't think she consider herself as a rapper like how everybody be like this bitch not a rapper i think she an artist like i think she just she do shit to make herself feel good. Like I think she do what she love, and I fuck with that. Like somebody actually seven, my guy. He actually um he's doing um like what's the business like buying people fucking uh music sales. music he's doing music sales and shit. And he was just telling me something that made sense. So when I thought about the sweetie thing, I ain't think about this then, but I thought about it now. A lot of people not really streaming new music now. Like I know when I go in my car, I'm not streaming none of these new kids, and I'm a little older, so I mean 31, but. 
I living down on that shit. But like, I be listening to old school. Like, I ain't streaming no young nigga shit. Like, I probably would never go stream Sweetie, but she probably make good songs. Like, I just yeah, I think I think um. I don't know. Maybe it just was a lot going on at the time that she decided to drop her stuff. Probably. I have no clue. Like, I, I don't even know. Like, she look good. She pretty. Like, mm-hmm. I don't see why little girls wouldn't go. To I ain't gonna lie. I didn't stream her stuff. But I don't, like, I'm like you. I don't really stream music unless I, like, hear something that I like and I be like, okay, let me go. Like, you feel me? I don't really. Go to, you got iPhone? Yeah. Go to your iTunes right now. Who, who, who your top five artists you listening to? Let me see. I listen to me all day. <laughs> all day, is it you? Are you selfish? I, I listen to me. I listen to Icewear. Um, Icewear is another nigga that's lit that I don't listen to. Like, that nigga lit. You I need just, to listen to him. Like, him. Uh, Who else? Uh, I like... Um, he be putting me with all these niggas. I fuck with Ken the Man. She and my... Yeah, no, nah, she hard. Yeah, Ken the Man. I like Rod Wave. I like NBA Youngboy. Yeah. I like Seti Hendrix. Seti, I like I did an interview OMB with him. He's fire. I like PZ all too. them niggas. Like... They're my niggas. I fuck with them. So, so you listen, I'm on rotation, like on repeat yeah. type vibes. Damn. I need to get my odds. I need to get my Apple music up, man. Like I ain't really listening to nobody. Yeah, you gotta fuck with Sadie. You know who I listen to? I listen to the weekend. I listen to uh Drake. I listen to a little bit of Drake. I listen to Drew Hill. I listen like, like I listen to shit like that. That's like, a vibe though. Like I don't really you know what I'm saying, like I'm, what else I'm like, That's I'm a vibe. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that. You yeah. got a little old soul. Yeah, I ain't really mad. Shit, man. That's a Damn, vibe. Damn, so like Y'all here, you leaving some tomorrow. Yeah. What's going on in the music industry? Talk to me. Give me some industry shit. Like, you got a big feature. Give me some industry, man. Well, I'm independent as fuck. And I feel like I'm just, like, you know, entering the music world, for real. Mm. Like, instead of, like, being, like, underground, like, Cleveland shit, like, I'm really just now entering, you know, this industry world or whatever. Like, um... As far as, like, music, you can't expect new music from me. Like, I've been getting a lot of calls from different labels. Uh-oh. So, yeah, like, it's been getting real interesting. Like, um, Are they talking some real shit or they want some bullshit? Because labels be bullshit. They be trying to get We going to figure out back. what's best for, like, us. If it makes sense. But if not, we going to keep working. What we talking about? They trying to do some loan shit. And that's what they get, advance. If they get advance right now, you want, what you going to do with advance? What you, you gonna, mean? If, they, if you, you sign a deal. That's what they talking, right? Advances and shit, right? <laughs> he said, like, flip it? Are you going to flip it if you get the advance? Or because I, I know one guy, he's, I ain't going to say his name, super big. I ain't going to say away from him. I want to, but he got signed by a, 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 a record label. He put that shit, he ain't even touch it. For That's real? why, I, yeah, he ain't even touch the advance. He's like, man, fuck that. I ain't touching it. Yeah, it's a loan for sure, but. Um, but you going to flip that shit. I just, I'm just trying to get in a position to, you know, make sure my people straight, to make sure everybody around me straight. I work with a bunch of people back home that, you know, been trying to, that been working towards the goal for so long. So, mm. like, you know, they deserve to win. So, you feel me? Like, I'm trying to help everybody win. Like, not even just myself. You feel me? I got a bunch of real niggas, them, like, you feel me, around me. I got a bunch of people that support me, that, that's you know, want to see me win. Like, I just want to make sure we all win. You got any homegirls that's rapping? That rap? Yeah. No, nah, like, I really hang with niggas. Okay. Um, I got, like, the bitches I hang with, they've been, like, my friends since, like, great from kindergarten and shit. Like, they, like, got kids and, mm. like, they family people. Like, you feel me? But them the bitches that's going to be there when I need them, though, so I fuck with that. But, no, nah, I ain't got no bitches that rap. Oh, my young bitch, Carrie, she rap. She from Cleveland. She mm. hard as fuck. You, are you, like, like one of the biggest in your city? Like, when you go home, niggas like, damn, that's Piggy. The biggest. For real? Yeah, for real. Damn, how is that? Like, you, like, <laughs> I, you, you, I know that. It just, ha- I mean, I was always, like, a popular person. Like, I was oh. always just Piggy. So, everybody always knew me regardless. They kind of knew me from fighting, which is not a good thing. But I always, like, just had my own name. Okay. But, yeah, like, now I rap, like, all the little kids know me. I go into the mall, everybody know me. Like, yeah, so, like. That's one of the reasons you had to leave? No, I just left because I got shot for... Well, I was living in Atlanta, like, last year, but I I did not like it. Um, You don't fuck with Atlanta? I like Atlanta, but I just feel like my personality didn't match it. Like, I feel like I'm too antisocial. I was, like, in the house. I'm like, I could do this back home. Like, it didn't make sense for me. But I really only moved to Miami because... My boyfriend was being protective, like, okay. cause I got shot. So you could, you could, you, bro, you could be anti-social and live in Atlanta. I don't be going, and I don't go nowhere. What am I gonna do? I, niggas be like, yo, come to the little Metro Boomer shit the other day. Like, yo, I'm like, no, 
<laughs> no yeah, way. I don't fucking do nothing. Like, <laughs> no. I don't even care to go out. Like, I be like... It ain't shit out here for me. Like, stay yeah. your ass in the house. Exactly. And it ain't safe. No cap. Yeah, ain't nobody trying to go outside. Yeah, and risk man. not coming home. Nah, man, it was good, good talking to you, though. Um, You don't got no big features. Like, isn't Doughboy from Cleveland? No? Mm -hmm. You ever think about trying to do a song with him? No? We cool, yeah. He cool. I was saying, you ever think about doing a song? We're trying to do a song with him? I mean, like one I'm, of the biggest artists, I'm right? sure I can get a song with Doughboy if I wanted one. I just haven't like went down that road yet. Like oh. I, I'm gonna use it when I need it. Okay, yeah, that's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what you said what? I said she got established herself first. That way she's staying in her own regardless of people. No, I'm. That's some. I mean, they probably can't hear that, but that's some real shit. You got established yourself. I mean, the, the ice wear if oh, shit was hard. Oh, yeah, like, ice wear reached out to me. He a real nigga. Okay. You feel me? Okay. Okay. Nah, man, that was a great conversation. I I, I love talking nah, to you. I appreciated you. it too. Nah, this is all good, man. This was um, like a one of the best interviews I did. For real? Damn, I appreciate that, man. This was all like this was like last minute, wasn't it? Like this was literally last minute. I I saw your shit online. I'm like, she's dope. Uh, I heard your story. I was like, that was fire. I'm I'm big on stories, so like that was fire mm -hmm. off the rip. I love the fact that you keep going. Um, I pray for the best for you. You know what I'm saying? Hope you and your man take it all the way to the top. We need black love. Right. Yeah, that shit. We I don't hope see we that. do too. You don't see that, man. You ain't see that either coming up, right? You said you ain't. You ain't you I ain't either. grow up with two parents. Yeah, that's hard. ain't it hard to, to to to. I grow up. I grew up with a single mom, and she tried to play the man and the woman yeah. role. So that's why it's so much tough love, and I don't know how to love for real. But it's hard to simulate love when you ain't see love. Yeah, man. that shit. My mom worked all day. Like nigga, she never. I'm like. I don't even know how to take a comment. Like, somebody be like, oh, you are so beautiful. I be like, oh, okay. Like, I, I ain't hear that growing up. Like, yeah. you know, a lot of shit just be new to me. But, yeah, it was good talking to you, too. Nah, I appreciate it. Uh, Piggy, Auntie Piggy on the gram. Tell them about to follow you. You can say all that. Auntie Pig with two Gs on Instagram. Make me go oink on everything else. Mm. <laughs> you heard it, man. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. Dope individuals. Dope conversations. It's a wrap. We out.